Hey all, Wild for Games here, your Streamlab advisor to help you with everything Streamlabs. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to properly use the giveaway tool as well as diving into the betting and polls. Let's get into it. So if you're not familiar with the giveaway tool, simply put, it's a way for you to send prizes to your viewers. And this can be anything from custom merchandise from your merch store or special rewards that you can give to your viewers like V-Bucks or even Steam games. To create any giveaway, simply click on Add Giveaway. This will open up a drop down menu with two choices, merch or custom. To create a merch giveaway, you need to have an item in your merch store first. For this example here, we're gonna create a custom giveaway and go over all the settings. When crafting a new giveaway, you have to assign it a name. You can also give it a few parameters. Like if you want it to last for a certain amount of time, you can turn on the timer and designate how long you want that timer to run for, as well as assign it permissions on who can enter into the giveaway. And of course at the bottom, is where you can assign the name or description of the prize. Now there's also advanced features I recommend taking a look at because there's some really good ones. The first we have is must be a follower to win. In my personal experience, make sure you have this on. Under that we have ticket costs which can be used to assign a loyalty cost for entries if you're using the loyalty system. Next to that, we have maximum tickets per user, which obviously means how many tickets they're allowed to buy for this particular giveaway. Near the bottom, we have luck, which is a setting that can be used to give some extra tickets upon entering. The subscriber bonus ticket can add tickets to subscribers once they've entered, as well as the non-subscriber bonus tickets is for viewers that are not subscribed to your channel. With all of your general and advanced settings made, all you gotta do is click add, and now we can start the giveaway. When you're ready to start your giveaway, simply click on the start giveaway button and you will see this screen here. On the left, you will see all the viewers that have entered and how many tickets they have acquired. When the giveaway is closed, you will be able to pick a winner. When the winner is picked, there will be a message that appears in the window. So whenever your chat is really active, you will still be able to see who the winner is and if they're active or not, or if you even need to re-roll the giveaway. For a side note, custom giveaways are able to pick up to 10 winners per giveaway. When it comes to merchandise giveaways, you can only pick one. Now that you know how to craft and start your giveaway, there are some additional giveaway settings on the main page. All these settings allow you to refine and craft the giveaway tool to your particular style for your stream and community. Next up, we have polls, and polls are a way for your viewers to directly vote through chat using exclamation point vote, and then the option on the potential choice or option to determine the course of action. Now, of course, if you wanna use polls, you have to have your CloudBot enabled. Now, adding a poll is really simple. Click on the add poll button, and from here, it's just like the giveaway tool where you can put in different parameters. You have general and advanced. Under general, you give it a title as well as the options that your community will be voting upon. Under advanced, you will see the use of the timer and the duration as well as sending notifications. Once you're done configuring, click done and your poll will save as a profile which will allow you to reuse your poll without having to create it each time. When you're ready to use the poll, all you need to do is click start poll which will launch the following screen where you can see the progress. From this point onward, the bot will let your viewers know through chat that the poll has started and how they can vote using exclamation point vote and the option they want. Just like the giveaway tool, poll has its own unique settings that allows you, the streamer, to refine and craft it to your particular style for your stream and community. Pulling up the rear, we have betting, which allows your viewers to wager their loyalty against other viewers on an event or result, such as how many attempts it would take for you to defeat a stronger boss in a game. All they have to do is type in exclamation point bet plus the option and value. Creating a betting profile is just like creating a profile that we did for polls. 
All you have to do is click on the add button and you will see general and advanced. Under general, you will have things like assigning it a name as well as the options. Under advanced, you will have the ability to give it a timer as well as the duration, as well as the loyalty for the minimum and maximum and reward multipliers. Once you've made all the adjustments that you need to do, simply click done. Now the betting system is based off of a pot system, which means when everyone enters in, their loyalty points go into a pot and whichever side will win, those points will be shared amongst the winning side. So for example, if there are two options and there are 100 loyalty points in the pot and 10 people vote on option A and 10 people vote on option B and option A wins, that means 100 loyalty points will be shared over the 10 people in option A. Now, if all of your viewers selected just one option and there's nothing opposing the other side and that side wins, they will simply just be refunded the loyalty points they use to enter into the betting. Now, if you're at all confused on how giveaways or polls or the betting system actually works, I'm gonna do you a favor. I'm gonna put a link down below that'll take you to the blog, but it'll explain all this for you if you need a little more assistance out there. Now, using all of these assets and elements within your stream that Streamlabs is giving you is a really cool way to engage and reward your community. And if you need any more help on how to use CloudBot or Streamlabs, the platform itself, don't worry, I got you covered and so does Streamlabs. I'm gonna put a video over here on the side that's gonna help you figure out everything you need to know about CloudBot. Recommend taking a look at that video because it's gonna help you out. Once again, my name is Wild for Games and I will see you all in the next Streamlabs video coming out real soon. Take care all and peace.